Hello everyone, welcome back to Lost Alpha. It's time to go help Ratcatcher. And I can't believe I'm using night vision when it's 10 in the morning. Ah, the zone. Such a lovely place. I hear something. I heard an animal screaming, but I heard something more, too. Hmm, looks like it's a pack of fleshes. <laughs> nice pathfinding. Yeah, no, it sounds like voices. Well, I am here to help somebody, so I suppose maybe it's him screaming for help. Damn! I didn't realize their feet were so good on steep surfaces. Look at that. Like freaking mountain goats. Well, they're probably going to attack me. But I don't see a way around them. I guess I, I could go a little bit further over. Oh, there's more. Well, if I'm going to use a gun against them, I want to use a weapon that I don't really care about. Hopefully they'll ignore me. Yeah, I think I'm hearing him. And it looks like they did indeed ignore me. What should I do? So what should I do? Okay, he's freaking out. Don't shoot! Please! I'm not gonna shoot. Don't shoot, man. What are you doing here? I was told to check on you. I'm hiding here. I don't want no trouble. Who are you hiding from? Well, I'm a deserter according to the military code, and I've been wrongfully accused of murder. Until I can clear my name, I cannot go near the military base or I'll be executed. Wait, what were you accused of? I'm from the recon unit. They sent us into the catacombs to see what's going on below the base. It's hell down there, I'm telling you. I was the only one to get out of there. Everyone else is dead and those bastards have accused me of murdering all of my comrades. Those sons of bitches. Catacombs. Underground tunnels, they go from the institute to the area around it. Yeah, I'm, I've been in there. What happened? You probably wouldn't believe me too, but I'll tell you anyway. The Agropalm Research Institute, before the accident in 1986, was just the so-called Institute of Crop Selection and Genetics, apparently used for experimental crop testing. After the accident, they fenced it off and built some barracks there. I didn't know what they did the Institute before, but I know now. They were experimenting with animal genetics. If you saw the beast that I saw down there, you would understand how my group ended up. Does this beast have tentacle-like things around its mouth and can turn invisible? Yes! How did you know? I don't know why, but I feel I've seen one before. A very nasty creature, so I believe you. Maybe I can talk to the military for you and clear your, clear your name? No, the military wouldn't listen to fantasy stories from a stalker. There is another way, though. In the Institute. They have loads of old documents that tell of all the weird things that took place there. I'm sure it will mention the species in there. If you could, get the documents and take them to Barkeep for me. He has some high-powered connections that will listen to him. Alright, where do they keep these documents? At the HQ, it's on the third floor of the Institute. That's where they keep those damn papers. But it's a mission getting there. By day, the area is teeming with patrols. But not as much at night. I'll tell you this for free. If you want to get inside, you'll have to go through the catacombs. You stand no chance at the gate. But, it's up to you. Okay. 
Now, isn't that where I just was? Wait, I have to go through the catacombs. So the catacombs lead... I mean, it looks like it's on this level, right? It's in the HQ building, which I think I actually have a map of somewhere. Um, here? Yeah, the HQ is on the third floor of the Institute. So if it's not underground, why does he want me to go underground? Just to get there? Like it's an alternative way to get there? I'm confused. Anyway, this is new. The first deep raid. I'm going on my first deep raid into the zone. The target is the Agropom Research Institute. I need to recover some documents belonging to a military expedition. Apart from the mission, the trader gave me some information about an area to the north, on the way to the zone center, where the brains boil. Probably more of a legend than a fact, but since there's clearly something wrong with my head, I probably should take a look at it and talk to some people. You never know. Maybe I've been there before. Also, the trader told me that Strelok discovered a way to get through the area, and the traders want to know it. Their reasons are clear. They want to access untouched artifact fields. Well, I'm going to help them, I guess. So he really wants me to go underground, huh? I kind of want to just go overground and just shoot them all. Hello, goodbye. Although I suspect I don't have enough ammo to take them all out. Yeah, I probably don't. I'd have to loot them on the way. Loot them, loot them while shooting them. You know, kill a couple, loot a couple, kill a couple, loot a couple. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know what he's talking about with going underground. Doesn't seem like I have to. Maybe that's the next step or something? I don't know. But I don't feel like going back for batteries. Drop that. Lose a little weight. How many medkits do I have left? Eleven. Oh, wait. Shit, I only have one bandage? <laughs> That's not good. I do have the anti-bleeding stuff, though, right? Yeah, I do have a bunch of anti-bleeding artifacts. Hmm. Well, I think I'm gonna need them. Radiation, I think. I don't think it's mines. Alright. Should I try it? Let's do it. All right, I think it was just two on patrol. See if I can get some damn ammo. And some batteries. <laughs> Another person with a guitar on. Guitar on his body. Should really leave that at home, you know? Ooh, a grenade. Alright, let's hope these have ammo in them. Yep, there we go. And that one does not. How much does that leave me with? Can't fit it. Uh, dump some pistol ammo. Eh, pretty much just to replace the ammo I just used up on them. Not much of a stash of ammo there. 
I think I picked up a pistol. Yeah, I did. Let's drop that. I don't want it. Yeah, that one doesn't have any light in it, or any battery power. I, yeah, these are all stacked up, so I don't think they have it either. Nope. All dead. How do I switch my grenade? Is it four? Oh, it's four. Okay. There we go. Ooh. Some food. Alright, well, I'm going to prove this guy's innocence by killing every single person in the base. What better way to prove someone's innocence? Now, there should be snipers in the towers, at least according to the map. Whoa. Someone just got hit by one of those anomalies. Hmm. Alright, let's do this. Probably get a bit closer. Eh, maybe not. Oh God, the accuracy on this thing is terrible. Okay, two down, like ten to go. Seems like no one else heard. I don't think anyone else did hear. That guy's coming. Shit. Um, salute the things that matter. Come on, don't see me. Don't see me. Don't see me. Oh, he's on me. Let's uh, unload these. Nope, no ammo. Okay. I think he's probably hiding in the trees. Maybe he lost me. Ooh. Lots and lots of food. Which is pretty much the last thing I need at the moment. I almost want to see if I can do this stealthily. Let's try it. It's probably not going to work. Because in my experience, stealth in these stalker games is almost completely useless. But let's give it a shot. There's a guy on the roof. Shit. Yep, stealth is not going to work. Did he just blow himself up with a grenade? Oh my god. 
Where did you guys receive your training? Jesus. I heard you there. <laughs> Thought you could sneak up on me. Still the guy on the roof. Hi, my name is Teresa. I love your profile. What's showing in the cinema today? Let's go to a movie. Uh, sorry, Teresa. I'm a little bit busy killing people. Let's, um, meet up later. Okay? I think I just shot him in the back of the head. Where did those shots come from? I think he's back there. Shit. I want this ammo. And I don't want that gun. Unload. Yes, more ammo. I think there's someone inside of the building, and I think there's someone back there. The accuracy is so bad. Oh my god, he blew himself up with a grenade too. I don't even need to shoot them. Jesus, just wait for them to kill themselves. I thought there was a guy back here. Oh shit. There we go. This is still in master difficulty, right? It is. I'm actually surprised how easy this is. It's not easy easy, but it's not as hard as I thought it would be. I guess I'm just so used to misery. Ooh, what is this? Oh, I can't go down there. I'm just going to take all so I don't have to keep clicking that. All right, I got to dump some stuff. Probably leads down to the lab. Let's hide behind some wood. Dismount scope. Wait, you can do that? Oh. Cool. This one's in better condition. Unload that, drop it. Unload that. How does that compare to mine? Um, yeah, it's a better condition. Let's use it. Let's eat some of my food. That's beer, isn't it? I was about to drink like ten beers. Let's not do that. Uh, let's just drop all that. It's weighing me down. Which one has light? Ooh, this one does. Okay, cool. And these do not. Well, let's keep looting bodies and let's finish... Finish with these guys. I guess I could go down there and... I, I'm still not sure. It's like, the documents are here, so why do I even need to go underground? Am I going underground after? I'm still not clear on that part. I guess we'll see. Any 
machine guns that they had probably went flying from the grenades. Oh, he's upstairs. Yep. <laughs> Jesus Christ, how did you miss me? Who trained these people? Fucking blowing themselves up with grenades and missing shots at literally 5-10 feet away. Are those dogs? I think there's a pack of dogs in here. Uh, I'm gonna assume dogs can't go upstairs. Because that's where I'm gonna run. He was hiding back here. Let's wait here. There's only one place enemies could come from, so I'll see him behind my inventory. Okay. Oh, yeah. Yeah, there's dogs. Oops, I just equipped one. Okay, these don't have any batteries. This one probably does, because it was in a separate stack. Oh, my weight's good. Yeah, let's put that ammo up there. Let's dump... Uh, what should I dump? I guess I'll dump my pistol ammo. I don't need the pistol. Okay, now I've got plenty of ammo. So is it upstairs or downstairs? The thing, I don't know. I think it's on the... Uh, it's at HQ, right? Which is the third floor? I don't think this person received adequate medical treatment. Whoa. Did they make it up here? Is that a suit? That's a pseudo dog. Maybe they can go upstairs. See if I can uh, search these. No. Nope. <laughs> oh. That one. That that person actually received training. That person has actually shot a gun before. Unlike seemingly every single other person there. Good shot. Probably just shouldn't even loot the bodies, actually. I kind of want to see if I can knife him. It actually worked. Awesome. Okay, make sure no one's coming in the stairwell. Okay, I think it's safe for now. Let's quickly loot these bodies.
What is that? Oh, is that what I came here for? It is. Get the hell out of there. Holy crap, that message just... That was creepy. I feel like Satan has just talked in my ear. Bring the documents to me. Yeah, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Yeah, this place is a little bit too active for me. I don't think I care to loot every single body. I think I want to just get the hell out of here. Okay. Uh, let's finish with these. Unload. Drop. Drop. Anything else? Um, I don't need this extra scope. Pretty good on weight. Okay. Barkeep. I'm guessing Barkeep is very, very far away. Where are you, Barkeep? It looks like he's above trash? Yeah, he's above trash. Okay. Well, that'll be good, because that'll be another hub city, I believe. Which means... I can finally buy some batteries and ammo. And bandages. I think the helicopter dropped off more people. It sounds like there's a lot of them. Hello? I think they're gonna... What the fuck? They might be on the first floor. I think I want to see if I can go out the window behind me. But I don't want to take my eyes off that doorway. Come on, come on. Yes. <laughs> okay. Thank God this game has a double crouch. He's like, where the fuck did he go? Magician. Yeah, in case you didn't know, this game does actually have two crouch states. There's a normal crouch, like this, and then there's another one to crouch lower, like this. Which allows you to get into some areas that you otherwise couldn't get to. Alright, that one's dead. This one? There we go. My map says there's an enemy in that corner. Or it did, popped up for a second. Okay, how do, I, how do I want to leave this place? I think I am going to do this. Uh. Something about that tells me I'm not really going to have to worry about him. I don't even want to shoot him from here, though. This gun's so inaccurate. I guess I probably should have just wasted the ammo. Rather than get shot in the face. Is he in the bush? In the building? Where did he go? He might be outside, actually. 
I don't fucking know, but I'm getting out of here. Goodbye. Let's go. I'm not going to stick around to figure out what the hell that, those noises are. Nope. Down in energy drinks on the run like a pro. What I just did there might look simple. Hey, Mark, when this is Mole, we have made camp on the railroad tunnel near here in Agroprom. Feel free to drop in any time, Mole out. Oh, is that this right here? Yeah, it might have looked simple what I just did, but I actually just reached my hand inside of my bag while carrying my weapon with both of my hands. And opened the drink, and drank it while sprinting. And yes, that does mean I have three hands. It's true. Good day. Tell me something interesting. The troops are bustling about, searching, digging. Before the choppers used to fly only to Yantar. Protected the scientists, carried supplies and technology. But now they're practically invading. Planning all sorts of expeditions. And driving around on APCs. Already saw them on the Agriprom and in the Dark Valley. Don't understand it. Hmm. Wakey, wakey! <laughs> He's still snoring! <laughs> what the hell, dude? That's a serious case of sleepwalking. Alright, I will buy benches and energy drinks. Did, did he just go back to snoring? Hole? What the hell? You're a very strange person. Hey, Mole, tell me about this place. This is the area around the Agrobomb Research Institute. The institute itself is to the southwest. The factory, which served as the institute's technical production facility, is to the north. The buildings have been abandoned for a long time, and there's nothing to be found there, but the army has been searching there very actively recently. Hmm. Tell me about this factory. It was built at the end of the 80s. It was going to be used to build and test machines that could treat soil affected by radiation. As far as I know, nobody ever saw a single machine come out of that plant. It's totally empty now, which makes it a favorable spot for stalkers. Okay. And the Institute legends about the Institute. Before the accident in 1986, the only thing there was the Institute of Crop Selection and Genetics. Yep. Hmm. After the after the accident, they closed the Institute and burned the fields. Strange experiments. Come on. Come on. I need your bandages, which you don't have, so never mind, you can go back to sleep. I have no idea why I chose to run over that pile of boxes. Oh, shit, military. They're waiting for me, aren't they?
I have no idea how far this grenade goes, but we're about to find out. No oh, fucking jam after one shot, god damn it. Why why is he not shooting me? You are an enemy, aren't you? The hell did they go? Yeah, you are an enemy. All right, move it on up. Did you throw a grenade? Yes, he did. Whew, I thought I saw something. Actually, I should probably take this just for anti-radiation. Yeah, I think I should. I've been only thinking of it as a drink, but it is anti-radiation. Albeit a very mind-affecting one. Damn, I've actually got a lot of ammo. Yeah, I've actually got a lot of ammo. Okay, I'm feeling pretty good about my character build right now. Like, my, my supplies. Character build? What is this, an RPG? Yeah, I feel like I put all my stat points in the right things. I can't wait to get to a store, it's been so long. I'm going to buy literally every single battery I can find. Alright, let's head out to the main road and then just head north. See if I can buy some bandages from these lovely chaps. Medkit. Um, sure. Why not? And your head torch. Oh shit. Hmm. Let's go a little bit deeper. I think, I think I'm okay. Yeah, I'm okay.
That was a strange noise. Also, who are these people up here? I hope they're just guards. Okay, yeah, they're not. I think they're just stalkers. They're yellow, so they're neutral to me. Attention, everyone. This is duty outpost at the garbage. A horde of mutants is advancing from the dark valley towards the bar. Whoever helps us push back the scum won't regret it. Duty word. Wait, the boars are right there? They're behind- Oh, Jesus! <laughs> okay. Well, you better be damn grateful. I guess I've gained entrance to the place after helping them with that. Uh, who? You? You. Thanks for the help, Stalker, but I'm afraid you can't go any further. What the? No. No, no, no. What do you mean? I just helped you. You let me in. Why? Because beyond that gate is our territory. Duty territory, and we're very picky about who we let through. If you don't have anything important to discuss with our leaders, you ain't getting past here. Oh, I have important business. Ah, uh, yes, Barkeep told us about you. Okay, you can pass. Thank you. I probably just bought more dead battery... Uh, lamplight thing. Uh, you know what? There's no point in uh, talking to them. I'm about to hit a store. Don't need to scrounge around. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is a big hub area. If I remember right, at least it used to be, and it probably still is. If anything, I would think it'd be bigger. Probably expanded. Alright, what's this place look like? Jeez, yeah, it is huge. You know, if this is where I think it is, then I actually remember scrounging around in buildings, getting horrible amounts of radiation to find a suit. I have a vague memory of that. Yeah, you stay back. I don't think it wants to fight me alone. Is there a rock nearby? Doesn't seem like it. Let's try to give them a wide berth. Or breath, rather. Is it birth? Breath? I'm not sure. No, none of those words sound right. I'm not sure if those are rocks or fleshes. I think they're fleshes. Yeah, they are. Bandits? No.
Hello, fellow stalkers. Hmm. We have a problem here. Interested in doing our group a little favor. Sure. Alright, we're a group of newcomers who are trying to reach the 100 rads bar, but a bunch of pseudo-dogs are nesting near the bar entrance and are blocking the way. If you can help us, I'll share some loot with you. Okay, no problem. I'm surprised they don't have, like, guards out here protecting the entrance to this place. Oh my god, there's a lot of them. Uh, I don't think your grenade would be effective. I have one more ammo up here. I would like to get somewhere high up. Well, I suppose this works. Come on. Accept your fate. Okay, I'm done waiting. There's one more. Oh, wait, no, two more. Let's hope these newbies have a long and prosperous life in the zone. Because, uh, no offense, but if you can't take out some pseudo-dogs, you're gonna have a tough time here. Alright, there you go. Food, vodka, medkit, and some ammo. Okay, cool. Ooh, I will take your energy drink. So these are empty? Or, wait. No, sh I just threw out the good one. These are empty. I think. Yes. Hmm. Oh, there's something in it. Damn it. Yo, man, you have energy drinks? I need my fix. Thank you. I think the energy drinks are gonna be like my epinephrine from Misery. I'm just on them constantly. There's a bunch of people in there. You know, I thought since this was near so many people, it would be safe, but that does not seem to be the case. Ooh, 
Ooh, new pistol. Yeah, there's just body. Whoa. What the hell? Oh, oh, it's just a boar. Okay. <laughs> it just looked weird upside down. Hold on, there's another body. Oh shit, radiation? Almost. Okay, I'm fine. Oh, wait a minute. I could. I wonder if the scope would fit on this weapon. I didn't even think of that. Because it's better. It has way better accuracy. And I think it uses the same ammo. 545, 39? It does. Let's see if I can. Which one's in the best condition? That one is. No, that guy's friendly. Okay. Oh, you can! Sweet! Sweet! Awesome! It's gonna be so much more accurate. Yeah, look at the accuracy of this thing compared to this one. Oh, so much better. And what about this pistol? More accuracy, more damage. Um, it's better at every single thing. Yeah, it's just better. I think they have ammo for it. Yep. Okay, um, how do I get in this place? For the love of God, where's the entrance to this place? <gasps> is this it? Is <laughs> I think this is it. Calm down. Calm down. Ooh, what is that? Advanced anomaly detector. Needs to be attached to the belt and turned on to operate correctly. Compared to the simple anomaly detector, it can locate different anomalies, and the range of detection is much higher. Hmm. Well. I'll see what I find inside, because I'm probably going to find people that sell even better stuff. Alright, it's my first time here. Could you tell me a little bit about this place? Hmm. Before the accident in 86, this was an industrial area. As you can see, there ain't much left of it now. In the basement by the hangar, you'll find the 100 Rads Bar. The place is run by the local trader who doubles up as a barman. If you want to trade, talk, get a mission, or find out the latest news, that's the place to go. There's, al there's also the arena, where you can fight and make some cash. Duty's base is not far from the arena. If you want to join Duty, go straight over there, and I'll tell you who to speak to. Oh, by the way, if all of this area is protected by Duty... Uh, no, all of this area is protected by Duty, so behave and keep your weapons holstered. If you start shooting... The patrol will calm you down pretty quickly. Okay, thank you. Think I can probably find my way from here? Especially since there's signs. What's in here, though? Is this the arena? No. Beautiful song. And a rather beautiful weapon. Just following the signs. 
Here we go. Oh, that, that's not where you go. The puddle of water. Oh, yes, and someone gave me a tip to save the game before I go into the bar. Because apparently there's a guy that can sometime block, sometimes block the way out. Come in, come in! Who is the actual guy that says get out of here, Stalker? I'm trying to remember who it is. It's not you, is it? Ah, look at this place. So many people to talk to, so many things to sell and buy. I've always got something interesting for people like you. My information might well be of use to you, Stalker. I'm sure it is, Mr. Creepy Trenchcoat Guy in the corner. Alright, well, I'm gonna explore this place. Oh, this bad oh my god, stop talking, Jesus. <laughs> like 20 people just started talking to me at the same time. Alright, well, I'm gonna explore the bar. And... Sell a bunch of stuff, and certainly buy a bunch of stuff. Get situated, get some new quests, and figure out what I'm going to do next. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far, and I will be back soon.